Yo, what is up guys? So today we're talking about Destiny 2, not specifically. We're going to be looking at the Beyond Light gameplay trailer that they showed in the uh, stream that they did. And it's, it's going to be wild. I'm going to let you know right now. I have so much content planned out. And I think this is the best way to start because this is the most hype of it. So let's just start it right here real quick. Where I come from, the darkness won. I have witnessed this firsthand. I refuse to let it happen again. Also, let me just say this, guys. Bungie does a great job at trailers. And I'm not saying this to take away from the experience. I'm just letting you know, temper your expectations. That being said, do I think this expansion is going to be a banger? I hope it's a banger. I hope it can stand next to uh, the Taken King and Forsaken. I don't want it to stand next to Shadowkeep because Shadowkeep, in my opinion, was the weakest of the of the September updates. I know it didn't come out in September, but it was supposed to come out in September and it came out in October. So just just saying, just saying, temper your expectations. It's time the truth presented itself to you. Darkness resides within, beckoning you. This is a truth we cannot hide from. And so we must embrace it. I wanted to stop here because this Fallen character specifically looks really cool not only that but I think it's coming up right now I've already seen this obviously the line between oh light God, and dark dude. is so very thin dude like this is where I got hype as fuck this warlock looks fucking wild my dudes okay so go beyond fucking light dog it's so fucking awesome that we can wield darkness. It's I don't need so together. Warlocks get a fucking staff. A fucking staff. And then hunters, we end up getting axes, I think. Let me see if I can get a better picture. So it looks like it's going to be like kind of like a throwable object, I'm guessing, not like blades or anything, just like throwing once, throwing twice. I think you'll probably be able to throw like twice. They didn't show the Titan though. I want to see what the Titan is. I, I, Let me see. Let's cross it together. Dude, they did a good job with the trailer. Like, I cannot even be mad at this. It's fucking dope. But, like I've said in the past, Bungie's really good at making trailers. They're very good at hyping people up. It's, to be quite honest, it's not hard to hype people up. You just show us some shit like this, and it's like, yeah, okay, I'm, I'm good. I will give these guardians the destruction they crave. September 22nd, guys, you can pre-order it now. I absolutely love the trailer. I think the trailer is really cool. It's awesome as fuck, obviously. If you guys haven't seen the official reveal trailer, I'll put it up right now.
This is what I brought you here to see. So I didn't explain this actually is Aramis, a character, uh, fallen uh, character, and she is has actually came out in the lore. I am not very lore savvy, so if you are, let me know who she is in the, in the comments below. But I'm really excited. We have a fallen DLC and we haven't had a September DLC that on oh, no, 08. No, we kind of did. Forsaken did have fallen. They're not fallen, but the scourge i think yeah eh, whatever not the scourge what the fuck am i thinking of whatever whatever their name is uh yeah they're technically fallen but dude this the gameplay looks fun i'm excited for it we have a new subclass but it's not just a new subclass it's literally a new burn that's what's probably really wild is the the subclass is called what what is the burn called oh man it's gonna bug me now stasis it's called stasis and it's the darkness i'm hoping that the darkness powers comes in just like a, a bunch of different versions so like there's stasis and there's other versions that'd be really cool but it's really crazy because i think hopefully i i don't want to like give bungie too much work but ideally it would be really cool if they gave us the subclass but gave us three trees because that's how much we have now so if they gave us three tree trees for each i'd probably lose my fucking mind but you know that'd be a lot of work for them especially like they have to like make sure it's not broken uh like synergies just different all types of shit but i would love it but not only does that mean that we have a new subclass it means we have new a new weapon damage type like a new weapon damage type that's fucking wild we've never seen one since destiny ever like that's what's probably what i find the most value in is the fact that we're gonna have weapons with this burn we're gonna have that as a subclass like i'm just wondering what kind of grenades are we gonna have what kind of melees are we gonna have what kind of supers are we gonna have it's there's so many questions and th these are good questions these are not like oh is, the, is it gonna be good i I'm like 80% sure it's going to be good. Why? Because it's a, it's a September DLC. Now, the only thing that makes me nervous is that we've never seen Bungie make a DLC, a September DLC, without the help of Activision. Now, I know we had a Shadowkeep. I think Shadowkeep was the first DLC, but this is the first one that I think, like, genuinely they've been working on since forever. So I want to see, like, this... Shadow Keep to me was just kind of like a this is our first one without the help of Activision. And then Beyond Light is gonna be like, okay, this is the one with us like finally getting our shit together. That's how I see it. So I'm very hopeful. I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt because not only did this trailer look uh fairly fine, but it's adding just a new system altogether. It's adding a new subclass, it's adding a new burn. With those, just with those in mind, I'm like, okay, cool. I'm going to give you the benefit of the, of the doubt because of that. If it was just like, oh yeah, nothing like that, then I would just be like, ah, same old, same old. But yeah, I will probably do a video about the Vidoc itself. It is, a, it's, it is a little long, but I do think they talk about some pretty cool stuff and I would love to go through it with you guys. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I obviously have Destiny in the background right now. Uh, if you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets, links are in the, in the description below. Thank you everyone for the constant support. I really do appreciate it. Guys, I'm really excited for Destiny 2 right now. Uh, I've been playing the shit out of it. I actually, th this I'm going to make, oh my god. I'm going to make the next video right now. I'll see you guys later.